There are three basic stretches uh, that I want everyone to work on, as I mentioned, at least uh, five times a week. Uh, feel free to do them at any time of day. The beauty of these particular stretches, you don't necessarily need to be warm to do them. Uh, you can wake up in the morning and work on these particular stretches. Uh, the first stretch is a hamstring stretch and it is the most time intensive of the three different stretches. I want you to spend uh, six minutes on each leg. Now the goal of this stretch is pretty simple. You want to lie down with your leg through the doorway. Take the other leg and prop it up over. So you're going to get a stretch through your hamstring and also through your piriformis and your uh, glutes. You don't need to put a lot of tension on the back of your leg. You're just going to lay here, straighten your knee. Don't push real hard against it, but just let everything relax and lay here for six minutes and then uh, pop to the other side of the doorway. Or in this case, I would go to the outside of the door and put my leg back through the other way and do the other side. Uh, the beauty of this stretch, as I said, is you can do You don't necessarily need to be warm uh, in order to do it and you're lengthening the muscle over time. This, for me, from a cycling perspective, has arguably been the single best stretch that I've done. However, there are two more that it is imperative that you do. The second stretch that I want you to do involves laying down flat, grabbing your ankle with the opposite hand, supporting your knee with the same side hand, and pull them up towards the opposing shoulder. So you don't want to angle your leg, you want to pull it, keep it in this position, and bring it up and over. And you're going to do this for 30 seconds on each side. So bring it up, just try and relax, breathe while you're doing it. Bring this leg back down, this one up, and bring it back over towards this side. Again, you don't want to angle your leg like that. You're pulling your knee towards the opposite shoulder for 30 seconds. And I want you to do each of those three times. The final stretch actually involves a ball and you are going to The ball is just for support. You can use anything you want. You are going to take the ball of your foot, put it against the wall to a point that's comfortable. Put your other leg up for support. Hold the ball. And you want to maintain a straight line from your leg up through your hips into your back. You don't want to arch forward in that manner for the simple reality is that it puts a lot of tension on your lower back to do that. So keep it straight, and then just slowly start to move backwards towards the wall, angling from your knee, and you'll start to feel the stretch either in your quad or up through your hip flexors. That'll get This stretch will get your quads, it'll get your hip flexors, and it'll get your psoas muscle. And you can either do two minutes on each side, or you can alternate doing 30 seconds three times on each side. From there, you can do any other stretches that you want to do, uh, depending on your particular needs, but these are the three basic ones that I want you to do five days a week.